In 2010, Cry Precision launched the Jumpable Play Carrier, or JPC. The JPC marked a turning point in play carrier design, away from a mindset of cover everything, protect everything, carry everything, that is best represented by the iconic LBT6094. Instead, the JPC ushered in an era that favored speed, maneuverability, and weight reduction. In 2015, Cry Precision again stunned the world with the launch of the JPC 2.0. Since then, many consider the JPC 2.0 to be the reference standard for modern play carriers. And this era and design philosophy is something with which we have become so familiar that most Chinese counterfeits and even some American influencer companies have copied it so substantially as to make it nearly impossible to tell them apart. But it has been nearly eight years since the launch of the JPC 2.0 and materials, technology, and construction techniques have evolved significantly since then. This begs the question, how does the JPC 2.0, largely unchanged since its 2015 debut, stack up against modern minimalist play carriers? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. A quick note on format. For those of you who are new to this series, this actually is not going to be a normal plate carrier review or review video like you might be accustomed to finding on YouTube. This actually started as a way for us answering customer questions that were asked regularly about how to integrate our thermoregulation and hydration tools from our ISAG ecosystem. As such, our format is mostly empirical. It will attempt to be as quantitative and scientific as possible. While we're not perfect, we'll make every effort to avoid sharing qualitative opinions, conjecture, etc. basically anything that can't be considered absolute fact. You guys are professionals. Our job is to merely provide you with as much information as you need to make the best decisions to help you be the greatest version of yourself. Thermoregulation is the next night vision, something we've been saying practically since the day we started the company. As such, integration of our Ice Age ecosystem of thermoregulation and hydration tools is the foundation of this Insights series. The JPC 2.0 is an ideal candidate for our Ice Vents Aero minimalist play carrier shoulder pads, though you can upgrade to Ice Vents Classic heavy loadout play carrier shoulder pads for when your JPC 2.0 wants to pretend it is an AVS. That video is coming soon. Both Ice Vents Aero and Ice Vents Classic will facilitate convective thermoregulation for your shoulders while distributing load. This is a capability unique to our Ice Vents technology. As for convective torso thermoregulation, the JPC 2.0 lacks any Velcro loop or molly slash maps of any kind like our Ice Plate XO. This means it does not have the ability to run our Ice Vents Classic ventilation pontoons for convective thermoregulation under body armor. This lack of loop Velcro or Molly also means that the JPC 2.0 limits our IMS and IMS Pro to external hard cell hydration mode only on the rear plate bag. You won't be able to take advantage of the conductive thermoregulation capabilities of our IMS Pro. This lack of integrated thermoregulation capabilities is where the JPC 2.0 starts to show its age. One of the most frequently asked questions we get when it comes to IMS and IMS Pro with the JPC 2.0 SPC or the AVS is, will you make a zip-on version for your IMS or IMS Pro? While circumstances may change, for now the answer is no and the reason is that there is no zipper standard for back panels in the industry. This means we'd have to manufacture zip-on back panels in a minimum of four different specifications which would dramatically increase costs for the most marginal of benefits. Moreover, both IMS and IMS Pro already come with up to two universal attachment mechanisms, Molly and Velcro. 
Our Iceplate XO Molly Placard is compatible with the JPC 2.0 using G hooks or Swift clips. But the catch is that the JPC 2.0 only has an anchor point for the top of the Swift clips. The bottom of the female Swift clip will be left dangling and unsecured, relying entirely on the Velcro interface between the placard and the JPC 2.0. Finally, the JPC 2.0 is compatible with our Ice Shield Plus plate carrier hand warmer. So YouTube is telling us that less than 10% of you guys who are watching this video are subscribed to the channel. If we could, we'd love to ask you to smash that subscribe, like, and notification button to help others get the information that they need to, well, be free. Other than temperature, few things impact human performance more than weight. Ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. We all have heard it, we all know it. Dry, the Cry Precision JPC 2.0 tips the scales at 22.95 ounces or 1.43 pounds. This weight includes the front and rear plate bags, cummerbund, shock cord, and shoulder shrouds. Much like the Airlite SPC, Cry Precision advertises the JPC 2.0 as weighing, quote, just over a pound, end quote, as you can see here. A pound is 16 ounces, which means Cry's definition of just over a pound actually represents a difference of 43.44%. Just imagine if your entire kit was 43.44% heavier than advertised. To find out how this weight compares to other carriers like our Iceplate Exo, Cry Precision's Airlite SPC, or the Ferro Concepts FCPC V5, click on the link below in the show notes to check out our plate carrier weight calculator. It's super interesting stuff, and the guys did a great job putting it together. Wet weight matters. More than dry weight? Eh, it depends on your mission. Whether salt water or sweat, the ability of a plate carrier to repel and shed water weight and to do so quickly can have a dramatic impact on operator performance. The front and rear JPC 2.0 plate bags, plus the shoulder shrouds and the cummerbund, came in at 39.6 ounces wet. This compares to a dry weight of 22.95 ounces. If you've watched any of our earlier videos in this series, you know that our experimental design is simple and it is the same for all PCs we test in the series. First, we submerge the carrier in water for 60 minutes. We remove it and hang dry it for 60 seconds. Then we weigh it. We conduct all of these tests inside our office, which is climate controlled at 71 degrees Fahrenheit to make sure external variables like sunlight, wind, etc. are not present. Our scale is always zeroed to account for the weight of the bin. What materials did you use to build a plate carrier seven years ago? Probably nylon, Velcro, tweave, plastic, shock cord, metal, and tigris, at least in the cummerbund. The signature JPC yokes were originally made out of a material called haplon. Haplon was discontinued some time ago, and now these yokes are cut from Hank. Hank stands for High Abrasion Resistant Neoprene Kevlar, which you can also find on the laser cut drink tube routing ports found on our IMS. Hank is manufactured by a Swedish company called Trelleborg. Some of you may recall that Trelleborg is the same company that manufactures the laminate used on the Airlite SPC. When it comes to thermoregulation and hydration integration on the JPC 2.0, it is simple. It doesn't have any native capabilities. The ability to augment the JPC 2.0 with thermoregulation and hydration is limited. As we mentioned earlier, the JPC 2.0 is not compatible with IMS Pro, so an ice plate cannot be worn internally without modification of the JPC 2.0 plate bags or external support. The reason for this is because the plate bags do not have internal loop Velcro, maps, or molly. This means you cannot get any conductive thermoregulation with the JPC 2.0. With regards to convection, or what we more commonly refer to as evaporation, the JPC 2.0 plate bags again show their age a bit because they only have this tiny bit of spacer mesh at the top of the plate bag, and we don't really know why since there is no organic ventilation system built throughout the plate bag like on our Iceplate Exo. Also, 
Without loop Velcro or Molly, you can't run IceVent's classic ventilation pontoons. The shoulder straps have loop Velcro that can be used for adding IceVent's classic ventilation pontoons if you don't want to use the one wrap. This is where the JPC 2.0 really shines. It features a quick release system that operates with Velcro and doesn't have any hardware like the first spare tubes or the Espeto quick clips we used to use on our Gen 1 ice plate EXO. This is the most innovative quick release system on the market today. We can say this factually because there is almost no way for this system to break, unlike the first spare tube system or even our old Espeto quick clips, which both use injection molded male female parts that can break, and they have. The quick release system used on the JPC 2.0 and also the Airlite SPC is patented. So a huge hat tip to Cry Precision here for inventing such a simple quick release system that is worthy of a utility patent. The JPC 2.0 is also compatible with all AVS detachable front flaps. This is simple. It's Velcro, it's Molly, it's zip-on panels. This zip-on panel is a number 10 Vizalon zipper by YKK. This zipper is commercially available, but this length is unique to Cry Precision. This means you can only use Cry Precision zip-on back panels. This same proprietary zipper length tactic is also used by Spiritus Systems, Ferro Concepts, and Velocity Systems. One question we get all the time when it comes to zip-on back panels is, can I run your IMS or your IMS Pro combo with my Cry Zip-On back panel? The answer is a resounding yes. It's actually incredibly simple, as you can see here, and we also have links below in the show notes with more details. When it comes to variety, the JPC 2.0 is available in colors you would expect from the company that invented Multicam. It's available in Multicam, Multicam Black, Multicam Alpine, Multicam Tropic, Coyote, Ranger Green, and Black. As far as sizes, the JPC 2.0 plate bags are available in small, medium, large, and extra large. The shoulders in Cumberbund allow for a wide range of adjustability. As you can see here, the JPC 2.0 has a 4.25 inch length of Velcro on the shoulders and a nearly unlimited amount of adjustability in the Cumberbund because it uses shock cord that you can set to your preferred length. The JPC 2.0 plate bags cover a range of plate sizes in both sappy, e-sappy, and swimmer cuts that you can see here. Small, medium, large, extra large. If you are between sizes or your plates exceed 1.25 inches in thickness, Cry recommends sizing up. The country of origin, commonly abbreviated as COO, is an incredibly important consideration when it comes to plate carrier selection. COO is a dependable but not absolute indicator of innovation, quality, and craftsmanship. According to the Cry Precision website, the JPC 2.0, like all Cry Precision products, is made in America from American materials. Price. This is the last and probably least important consideration when selecting your plate carrier because, well, we are talking about your life here. The JPC 2.0 is listed on the Cry Precision website for $241.90 as of the recording of this video, which is October 2022. This includes the plate bags and the cummerbund. That's going to do it for our review of the Cry Precision JPC 2.0. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you found it very helpful. And we're really curious to hear what you think. How does the Cry Precision JPC 2.0 stack up against other modern minimalist play carriers? As always, thanks for joining us, guys. And we'll catch you next time. Stay frosty.